questions for Ty Odiasi and Marcus Adi. So, uh, Marcus, um, you usually had pretty good games against Northern Kentucky tonight. You only had 10 points. I mean, were the openings not there for you, or do you think they played better defense? What what, what happened tonight? Um, I don't think we got that good of an offensive rhythm as a team from the start. So I think that just led to me not getting a good offensive rhythm. Uh, Marcus, what, uh, what do you think was going on that led to that lack of offensive rhythm in the first half especially? Um, we let the ball stick a lot. We weren't moving it. Um, yeah, when the ball sticks like that, offense is hard to get the offensive rolling, getting guys cutting, getting the offensive moving. So we wasn't doing that. Ty, what was it like with this environment tonight? You had a great crowd, an uh, opportunity to um, close the season in first place. Uh, what was it like to play in front of a crowd like this? Um, it was a great environment. You know, I've been here four years, and that was probably one of the best environments we have, we've had, you know, these past four years. So it was very exciting playing in front of that. Um, can you guys uh, shed light a little bit on how Jordan was so effective on McDonald? Um, we just, you know, Jordan's one of our best defenders, so we just, you know, he's m one of our most pesky defenders too. So we kind of put him on McDonald's, kind of frustrate him, and it kind of worked. It worked. You know, he wasn't as effective as he was last game. Uh, Ty, what do you think was maybe the key key factor in the run you guys made coming out of halftime, then getting the getting into a tie game at 61? It's our energy. I mean, I feel like at the beginning of the game, we didn't have as much energy as we did in that run. So once we got our energy up, uh, we made that run. Choose how difficult is it to guard a guy like LaVon Holland and all the different things that he can do? Uh, I give respect to him. He's a good player. He could shoot it. He could drive. He's pretty athletic. Um, you just got to stay locked in and do what you could do against him. That's what I try to do. Can you guys talk a little bit about the resiliency of your team and uh, the mentality that it takes to come back from 15 at halftime and tie it? Um, I mean, we try not to get ourselves in those situations, but we, when we are in those situations, we always persevere and try not, not to give up. Um, yeah, we just keep our foot on the pedal as much as possible, no matter how far in the hole we are. What was the mood in the locker room after tonight and looking forward to Sunday's matchup? How are you guys, uh, you know, approaching this, this last game? Um, well, <clears throat> we still have a chance, I think, to get second if we win. I'm not sure, but... Um, I mean, we were disappointed that we gave this one up, but we know that we're not, you know, we still we still have a good situation in front of us. And once conference tournament comes, I think we'll have all the pieces and everything in plan. I mean, in place to, you know, make a run in that tournament. Any other questions for the guys?